Hello and welcome to Lawrence Place Factorio. Uh, here I'm playing the Angel Bob's mod pack, so everything's getting a lot more complicated than I'm used to. In the last episode I uh, managed to get a bit more automation done. I've got a bit of basic circuit building going on uh, down to the bottom of my base. Uh, but then I started getting attacked quite heavily, um, but broke through the walls up here. So I've decided it's time to start building some more defences. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I've just picked up a big pile of um, iron from my uh, uh, from the smelters over there. Uh, no, from the furnaces over there. So I'm going to dig out some trees over here to give me some space to put the yeah, guns in. I'm also going to build myself another repair pack because I just realised I finished the last one off. Build a couple of those. Let's also grab some more walls from down here because it seems like I'm going to need them. Twelve. Great. <laughs> Pair that. Lots of range on that turret. Over to about here, so uh, I think if I put it in here, tucked in amongst the trees for um, <laughs> for camouflage, put that there, then the two turrets are covering each other reasonably well. I can also repair the wall now, like that. And then I need to make some ammunition, I need to make a lot more ammunition. Let's make 25, put it all, put it all in there. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of these little um, alien artifacts now, though. I have no idea what I'm going to use those for. In fact, let's find out what those are used for. Alien artifacts. So I've got those. Alien artifacts. Small alien artifacts can be made into big alien artifacts, which can be made into blue alien artifacts, or green, or orange, or. Great. Into alien science packs. Ooh, plasma turrets. Nice. Oh, I see. So the more advanced defensive stuff takes a lot of the um, alien stuff. Cool. Alien flame fluid. Nice. This looks extremely complicated, but I'm sure I'll uh, worry about it later. A chance to worry about it later, rather. Ah, these are all... Used. Let's get rid of some of my uh, excess stones. Well, in fact, let's not put that in there. No, I don't want that. I do want that. Okay. So, uh, and, oh yes, ammunition. There we go. So, that's reasonably well defended up here now, I think. Uh, they don't seem to be attacking this big gap here, which is nice of them. Looks like they are attacking up here, though. How are they holding up for ammunition? They're not doing too badly. They've got through about five magazines each. Walls are happily keeping them away. Okay, that's good. Do think I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more ammunition to cope with this. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do... I'm also going to build a lot of... I'm going to build a few of those. Um, not lie out of copper. Yes, copper. All right, I'll just go down and get some of these um, circuits I've been making down here. That's going quite well. Hoover those up, then I can make lots of these and more quickly as well. Uh, all right, let's have electronics. Get me filter inserters. I don't really need filter inserters anymore because we've got the, um, the the splitter filters. Okay, let's, let's make nine so can, it's easy to put in threes. One, two, three. and on the way out, one, two, three. So should probably power those as well. There we go. Do this the other way up, actually. So I'm going to squeeze some ammunition production in here because I'm not going to keep running around keeping the turrets topped up by hand. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Underneath. Boop, boop. Again. Right. Oh, I missed a couple of turrets out with this. Let's split it here. This one can go up. Not out. This is going to be expensive. This is going to use a lot of iron. And I've already started to run out of a couple of these drills. That's probably quite a big field, but I need to make sure that by the time that runs out I've got the um, armament essentially <laughs> oh it's a three damn it big cliffs come across here then it's not like I know what to do with this rubite anyway what was I saying oh yeah by the time I um, exhaust the by the time I exhaust the, any of these beginner fields I need to have sufficient military might to go out and defeat any defeat and and, and at whatever the normal nest of biters is at that point. 
otherwise I'm just going to get stout curb stomps and run out I'll just run out of resources and not be able to um oh dear they're attacking again. Why are they attacking over there? What? Why did how and why and where and how do they get over there? Why do, why do they come from over there? I don't understand. The attacks on the other side, yeah they make perfect sense. Uh is the pollution going somewhere? Oh oh pollution's going a long way out. Okay, they're probably coming around the top of the lake then. And that's going to get me attacked from down there soon as well. Oh dear. I guess, yeah, this little area is fairly bare, so there's not much in the way of um, trees to soak up pollution. Joy! Right, okay. Uh, let's see if I can get some more walls to go up there and some turrets to protect them. Well, got some turrets somewhere. There. There. Ammunition for now. I bet I can make some more ammunition for myself. Oh dear, I'm at iron again. 54. Is that going to get me up to the. No. I'm going to build another 10. <laughs> Still no, though. Okay, that might not matter because those bugs are probably going to be coming in along the bottom. or I, They're either coming in along the bottom or right along the top. Either way, they'll get caught out by the. Um, by the turret before they do any damage. Now most of this episode is going to be me chopping down trees I can tell, uh, so I apologise for that but at least it means I can fast forward through a lot of it so you don't have to sit there watching every single blow of the axe. If it gets really bad I might even just um, <laughs> cut some bit out completely. But so far, right that seems to be okay. This wall over here is completely undefended though. I should probably is it worth making a shotgun to go through the trees a bit more quickly? I don't know. I should probably speed this up a bit. It's not producing ammunition that quickly. don't know what water research is good for. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Let's triple this. Okay, it goes around the top. Awesome. Don't need that then. Do need that. Do need... And that goes... There... Up there. Okay, normal service has been resumed. <sighs> That's a long way into the woods. When do I get grenades? <laughs> Military 2. Oh, okay. That's quite manageable. Military 2, please. <laughs> I can clear the grenade, clear these forests out a bit more easily. Yeah, I'll leave that until then. Oh, that's going to need the red science production there. That's not something I've got going on yet. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, they're starting to damage the walls. That means I need more more defences up here. Uh, uh, are dragon's teeth this bit as well? I don't know how much of a difference that makes. I really don't. Let's gather all these up while I'm here. Okay. They're only just making it through there, so I think a third turret should be sufficient. Those miners aren't digging up enough. I should put those back into service. Like that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. There we go. That seems a bit better. There we go. Steel. Military 2 was the one I wanted, wasn't it, for grenades? But that's a um, that needs red as well. So, for now, let's, I don't know, radars? Hang on, I've already got radar. Is this a better radar? Or silos could be useful. Water treatment, water bore, heavy. Yes, let's have armour if I'm going to start. That's presumably the iron armour. Oh, no, steel armour. Okay. Interesting they give me that without when I can't. Oh, no, I've just made got steel, that's why. Better boilers, better steam engines, presumably. Warehouses, that's useful. Industry wood, garden, <laughs> ammunition damage. Actually, that'd be good. Ah, steel up. I want that. <laughs> Let me chop things down a bit quicker. Then I'll get the armor. I haven't got any steel at the moment, so it's pretty much useless as it is. Uh, oh yeah, let's get some more walls. Thirty-one. Okay, that'll at least let me finish this one up here. You killed anything yet? No. Oh, I don't have any Don't have any anything. <laughs> I want logistics bots. Let me 
keeping the stuff supplied is so much easier. Right, okay, the top end is now completely walled in. That's good. Up there. That was terrible. Can't really turret, so I've not got any copper. Let's do find some copper. It's just full of silicon, presumably. Yeah, delicious copper. Now I can start building turrets again. And burner inserters to keep them fed. What the difference between all these pipes is anyway? Do eleven underground, sell those and those. Those go those are fifteen. And sell those. Hmm. What is the greater capacity? Maybe I should look that up. Oh I didn't get more belts. <laughs> belts. There. On there, so they're covering each other. Now, I am technically aware that um, yeah, that they will. Uh, I will have complete coverage, even if they're a little bit further apart. But it's quite nice to have them covering each other, just in case one gets attacked. Is that? Nope. <laughs> Good old burner inserters. Put that square further down, then. So I feel sorry for the inserter. There we go. Now it's not covering all the way up to the top, but. What if I make a hole here and do the dragon's teeth thing again? I don't know. Maybe that'll help with the pathing and they'll try and come through there rather than anywhere else. In fact, if I'm thinking they're going to do that, let's put another turret in on the other side of it. Right, so there's a big gap down the middle that they technically could come through. Uh, let's turn that off and turn that on. Yeah, okay, so if they got through here or here or up here anywhere, they can come straight down the middle. But I'm hoping they're not that smart, and these ones seem to have been attacking down here. So then that means they're sort of coming in this way. Those ones have all been attacking here and sometimes here. And those areas are defended. That'd be nice to get some defence down here. But that can come later, I think. Jeeva Light, that's another new one. Um, what's that for? Let's find out. The light turns into slag, iron ore, and copper ore. Oh, nice. And a sorter. So that produces both iron and copper. Or if I'm an ore catalyst, that sounds difficult. To mix everything together. Ferrous ore. What's that for? Turns into iron and manganese. Of course it does. That seems very difficult to keep balanced to me. <laughs> um, okay. I'm not going to worry about that for now. But at least it's just there if I need it. And what's that up there? That's bobmonium. That's crotinium. Okay, I'll bite. What's crotinium for? Is that the yellow one? No. Blue. blue. That one. Yeah. Crushed crotinium is into copper and iron. Or is there almost iron and copper in those ratios, I think? Okay. Um. Okay, so I can possibly build out to get those at some point in the future. But hopefully, I'm going to have a good way of dealing with the bugs before I have to. Because I don't really want to have to go out and fight them by hand. <laughs> right, let's see. This is really annoying. <laughs> These cliffs are... What if I didn't go that way? What if I go over this way? What if instead of, yeah, punching through those cliffs, what if I just pull all my resources around the bottom of here and head out this way? I'm going to be a bit limited by the water, but I think that's probably better. Let's put a radar down as well. Um, let's say, yeah, it's a good place for it. Now I think, yeah, I've got full radar coverage of my actual, well, actually I haven't quite. Full radar coverage of the parts of the base I care about. Um, yeah, I'm liking that idea, actually. Let's take this off this way. I think I planned a bit too far ahead, really. I suspect by the time, I suspect by the time I need four belts worth of iron and copper and have all of the circuit types made, I'm probably going to have moved off away from the bus and started doing more modular bases. At least that's the hope. I should have gone a little bit further. Oh well. Oh yes, steel axe, that's much better. <laughs> What's that? Temperate tree. Okay. What's that good for? Temperate tree. Temperate tree makes a temperate tree seed generator, which doesn't do anything. Good. Uh, repair pack. 
I don't know, my repair packs work. Yeah, let's make it all silos in case I have a... No, that's a bit too early. Let's improve bullets since I'm getting attacked. Right. Now I think it's time to um, do inserters and red science. Possibly at the same time because one's required for the other. So, red science, red science, red science. Red science, red science takes a basic transport belt and inserter. Which is... Um, transport belts... Okay, so one of each, I need six machines producing those for one a second, and they use one of each each, so that's, and I make two of those every half second, so I need uh, two machines producing those, I make one of those every half second, so I need three machines making those, and they use circuit board, oh no, circuit boards, okay, and they use a cog every half second, and they use a cog every half second, so I need two, and one of those for each of the... Okay, so I think I think I need more construction assembly machines, which is a pain, because I don't think I have... A, I don't have anything to build them at the moment. Um, I don't even have any, okay. <clears throat> Let's make machines to make assembly machines first, because I don't want to start building stuff by hand again. That's a pain in the proverbial. And that's nice and simple, so I don't have to worry about ratios, because I just let them build them as fast as they want to. Okay, so cogs, and that's it. Cogs, 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 and you make assembling machines. And we can bring iron in across the top here, because they both need it. And we can bring... Okay, that isn't going to... Oh, well. Uh, shit. Because <laughs> no, that... And then... Okay, that's, that's right. I hate these really, really bad underground belts. And that I've run out of belts again. Right. Red science then. So, <clears throat> we need pairs of these with these building cogs and these building undergrounds. They use at the same rate. And I needed, what, three? Was it three pairs of those? It was three pairs of those, wasn't it? Because that's going to make. The belts are going to make. And that's two every, two every half second. And that needs one a second. Oh, there's plenty then. Um, and then yellow inserters. Increase one every one every half second. I'm going to need them one a second. So actually, those again, I can just keep chugging through. I do need another two of these to do it. Why have I not got any electricity? Oh crap! <laughs> Ghost. Go away and do other things for a couple of minutes, and bang, everything browns out. Really, really badly, actually. I hadn't noticed just how bad that was. Oh, it's because my coal... Oh, coal supplies are running low because electricity's running low, so... Ah, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> and electric miners, and... Yeah. Give me a, one of them. In fact, coal? Coal. Okay, so chucking that coal in there has hopefully fixed the uh, problem for now. Yep, satisfaction is... Full. Production is still fairly high though. I think I should probably build some more of those and let's make sure that the. There's not that much coal actually being produced up here. I think I need to go and put some more miners in up there. And it was at this point that I stopped recording to check a message and then completely forgot to start the recording again. Sorry about that. So um, I did a couple of things while, uh, while it wasn't recording. So the first thing was I finished off the. Um, improved the mining situation up here, so we've got a bit more coal coming out, uh, which, as, it see, as you can see, is now enough to keep everything running. I clearly need to even up the belt here, so it's pulling from both sides of it, uh, and that'll imp improve the amount I can have running through as well, to an extent, so that's, that's something to worth doing. I also finished off the um, assemblers down here, so we've now got red science coming through at a nice rate, and that's ticking up and being pumped into the into the uh, science uh, labs over here, so I can now start doing red science research as well. Other than that, I don't think I'd, I don't think I did anything. That was about the point I realised and started swearing. So looking around the base now, 
everything seems to be reasonably under control. There have been a few more biter attacks over here, but the one turret seems to be uh, perfectly capable of dealing with them. I should probably add in a second one along there, I think, because it, uh, it looks like, from this, it looks like they're getting quite close to the wall before they're getting finished off. So, let's get that turret put in, and... Uh, and I think I want to have another radar on the other, on the um, eastern side of the base so that I can tell when there's anything coming from that direction. But after that, I think that's probably a good point to, uh, to stop the episode. We'll see. I'll probably get distracted by something else. So, another turret along here. And this works it works quite well with the turrets up here because they um, they can. Oh, what am I short of? Iron, of course. Uh, it works quite well with the turrets along here because the biters all have to come around this cliff edge, and that slows them down quite a bit, and therefore they get. Um, beaten up quite easily by the uh, by the turrets on the way through. Start that loading. And as you can see, there have been quite a lot of um, biters up here, so there's a lot of this purple biter juice that I can come out and grab. Close that up again. So, my next plan was a radar. Do I have enough materials for a radar? No, of course not. Uh, iron again. Okay. So it looks like I'm now using up iron rather faster than I'm creating it. Uh, that's a bit of a concern. Clearly, my I think my uh, first job in the next episode is going to be building, improving the um, the iron production so that I've uh, so I don't run out quite as often. Did I not click on that? Right, radar. Build me a radar. Right here. What's the most? Okay, there's no power up there at all. Let's put the radar in here then, and that'll cover. Oh, that was a reasonably big area. It's covering all of the extra area of base that I haven't didn't have covered before. So that's that. I also wanted to tidy up the coal belt up here. So that means a splitter and uh, down, down, cross down and up there. Now it'll pump it in on both sides. And at the moment it doesn't really matter, but I might start needing more coal a bit later on. And I'm sure there's something else I'm going to. Do. Oh yes, yeah, so let's see. I can probably increase the, um, the flow here at least a little bit uh, by let's see belts go up round this. Uh, there we go. Okay, I've got two feeding onto one side and one feeding onto the other. Is that keeping up? No, not quite. Let's make it go up here instead then. I can go across there. And now that one's always going to be able to empty because it's at the beginning of the belt. That one's at the beginning of this belt, so it's always going to be able to empty through there. And this one has got an inserter in the wrong place. Let's fix that as well while we're at it. Okay. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Rats. Uh, how can I fix this? Oh yes, I did realise earlier I don't need to have coal here at all. I realised this while I was editing. The coal is for the furnaces, not for the um, not for the assembly machines. So there's no point in having any coal at all on this belt. There we go. So it'll now work much more neatly. But I still could potentially run out of coal on these. So um, yeah, let's fill them up a bit for now. So I'm going to need to sort that out at some point. For now, that's working quite well. It's a bit slow, but then it's it's the um, old stone stone furnaces. Yeah, that'll do for now. Um, okay, so as I was saying earlier, I'm currently rather short of iron. I've got quite a lot of it just all getting eaten up by these um, assembly machine, ma oh, this assembly machine manufacturer, and the um, yellow and the red science. That that is limited. Okay, and down here we've just not got any any inserters, right? Because there just isn't enough iron coming through. Okay, so I think I'm going to call the episode there. Uh, it's Everything's working quite well now, but I need a lot more iron coming through. So I think that means another row of um, drills here. Actually, that said, no, the um, the uh, restrictive point at the moment is actually the uh, the crushers. So another row of crushers across the bottom. That should work quite well. I'll need to move this ammunition production out of the way, and then I guess have another belt coming around here. Something needs to oh, and something needs to use the stone up faster as well. That's another limiting factor. Okay, I'll shove this in here for now. For now, no, I don't think that's going to help. Another furnace, a pair of inserters, a little bit more of that, some more power, and of course coal for this. Well, all right, we'll give it wood because I'm going to need coal. Uh, and you need to be no, the same as that. And of course I need another inserter over here. This is going to help a little bit, but it's still not fast enough. It is. Hmm, it's pulling the stone through faster than it's. Uh, it's using it up faster than it's coming in, so maybe it'll start to work. Or maybe I'm just going to have to build a warehouse and fill that up completely with stone. I just don't have anything else to do with it at the moment. That's it. Also, that said, that said, these bricks are getting used. Oh, they're being turned into walls, of course they are. That's the only, is that the only thing that's using bricks at the moment? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> right. But they're being used up as fast as they're made, so 
I have a limitless capacity for using up these bricks and therefore a limitless capacity for using up the stone so I guess I just need to continue this onwards and upwards and that's something else I can do reasonably easily next uh, next episode as well so as I said let's call it there thank you for watching see you in the next episode